Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Once again, I'm very sure you are enjoying the Festival of Colors, the Holy Festival in India. And uh, as I said yesterday, we are at a great time now because Saturn is out of combustion. But then I was looking at dvikpanchang.com and then I saw there's something even more interesting coming up. So on 12th of March this year, today is 8th, uh, we have the planet of love, romance, beauty and um, vehicles, <laughs> which is Venus is entering the sign of Aries, Mesh Rashi, and he will enter Rishabha, Taurus on 6th of April. So from 12th March to 6th of April, mm -hmm, quite an intense time. Uh, this is the time when Venus will be in Aries. But what's so special about Aries? There's Rahu there. <laughs> now what happens when Rahu is somewhere and irrespective of where he is, somebody comes and joins him. What happens? Okay. So to understand this, you have to understand how Rahu Ketu behaves and you have to understand some fundamentals of astrology, which means you have to understand what, what does it mean to have a conjunction in your birth chart or during a transit. So if you talk of conjunctions, it means two planets are together in a zodiac sign. Okay, It depends on the degree also, but for simplicity, a conjunction is like two planets coming in one particular house. Okay, Not literally house, but a zodiac sign. There are some differences between the two, but for simplicity, you think two planets have come to one house. Now what happens? Exactly what happens is every planet tries to influence the other planet. So imagine there are two people in the house. So one person, suppose, um, has a political ideology of uh, capitalism, okay, or right wing or whatever you say. And then the other person is a leftist oriented person and believes in communism or whatever. And then they will try to influence each other. So now during this, uh, when they try to influence each other, then what can happen? Either both of them can be convinced that one ideology is correct and we both should agree to that. Or both of them, uh, they say, oh, no, 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 no. What I am saying is right. What you are saying is wrong. And that is why we both do not talk to each other. So the relationship is destroyed. Now, the interesting thing is, how do you know what happened? So when natural friends are there together, hmm? So, for example, uh, Venus and Rahu, they are friends, right? Like uh, Jupiter, Sun, Moon, Mars, they are friends. So, when there are two natural friends sitting together in a house or in a sign, whatever you call it, then they agree to a consensus which is even bigger than what they individually believe in. So, for example, uh, what is Venus? Uh, Venus represents love, romance, uh, creativity, sexuality, now, it can represent marriage, you know, committed relationships. That's what Venus represents. But now, what does Rahu indicate? You know, Rahu can indicate perversity. It can indicate, you know, uh, extramarital affairs. Not in Indian itself, but when it is with Venus, okay? Because Rahu is that insatiable craving within you, which tells you that you are not happy because you do not have enough. And the day, the moment, the time that you have this or that, that is the moment you are going to be happy. So, Whenever Rahu is involved with some house or some planet, then you have to understand that you will start getting a feeling that this there is something missing in my life. Okay, So therefore, when you have Venus-Rahu conjunction, then this is like saying, okay, you have Venusian things, but you feel it's not good enough. Okay, So there could be temptation to you know look for... Uh, enjoying uh, propensities outside your marriage okay so which is not which is not recommended as per the uh, vedic scriptures uh, that's prohibited uh, that's adharma so therefore uh, this is one example you know it, it can be referring to a thousand other things you know for example uh, venus also represents beauty okay venus can represent natural beauty with some level of sophistication venus by default is some sophistication okay but Venus Rahu can represent some uh, something which is very, it's nonsensical. It's something very unnatural, you know, like somebody who is uh, good enough, but then to gain more followers or, you know, gain more fans or get, get more money, they are 
uh, indulging into things like you know plastic surgery and they're you know damaging their body you know so it's like denying the the karma that god has given you i mean which you have actually given yourself by the sanction of god uh, denying the destiny so then what do you do is you go into all this you know uh, you you destroy your skin you look very unnatural have you seen people who are doing you know cosmetic surgeries and all this you know i mean not a very great thing to have right no, of course uh, if there is some damage or there is an accident then that's a separate situation but in general rahu can represent extremes you know extremes of anything extreme of venus okay so therefore, when it comes to beauty, then also it can be extreme. Okay, so sensual enjoyment also it can be extreme. It's like uh, indulging uh, with many pop, uh, many people, many uh, partners of the opposite sex without any restriction. That that is uh, animalistic basically. So therefore, when Venus Rahu comes, you have to understand that there can be a tendency or there can be um, an anxiety inside me. So when rahu is involved there are actually two things rahu some people say it, it gives you depression some say it gives you anxiety but what i have seen is it gives you both so what rahu does is first he gives you depression he says oh look this thing is not good enough in my life then what he says is oh but look that person has that right so then he gives you anxiety so one is depression and the other one is anxiety okay and Lord Krishna says about this in the Bhagavad Gita very beautifully, right? He says, Brahma Bhuta Prasan Natma Na Sochati Na Kangshati Sama Sarveshu Bhuteshu Mad Bhaktim Lavate Param. He says this. He says that one who does not hanker or lament. So lamentation is basically depression. Okay. This is this this is depression. You are you are you are lamenting. Oh, I didn't have this, I didn't have that. And then there is hankering. Oh, I wish I can have this. I will have this one one day, right? So then, then what happens is one who is dangling between both of these, they cannot be happy. So one who is a sthita pragya is not affected by hankering and lamentation. Okay. So now uh, we are not perfected souls. We are not sthita pragya here, right? At least I am not. So we will be affected by this transit to, certain, uh, to a certain extent, but if we do meditation, if we chant mantras and if we do pranayam, then what will happen is our depression will reduce. Uh, we should maintain a gratitude journal. Whenever Rahu and uh, certain planet is conjunct Rahu in transit, we should maintain a gratitude journal. Okay. Now, otherwise, uh, you may feel that you are not good enough or some person in your life is not good enough. Okay. So, for example, if uh, Venus is your fourth lord in the chart and he is conjunct Rahu in transit now, so then it can happen that you feel your mother is not good enough. You know, her mother is better. His mother is better. Oh, my cousin sister's mother is so nice. My auntie. So it, it's, it's like a never ending game, which Rahu keeps playing with you. Okay. Because Rahu represents this tamasic uh, tendency within us, which can make us very rajasic basically. So first Rahu takes you to tamas, which is depression. Okay. Then he brings you to Rajas, which is like, oh, yes, anxiety. I will get it. I will get it. I will get it. I want it. I want it. I want it. I need it. I need it. I need it. So whenever you are in Rahu, all the you know, all your uh, wants seem like needs, actually, right? So whenever you are in Rahu Dasha or whenever <laughs> Rahu is conjunct with any planet, whenever you uh, feel that you need something you will have to ask yourself do i actually need it or is this something that i actually want to right it, it may not be something that you actually need so now uh, therefore if venus is your seventh lord then uh, maintain a gratitude journal towards your spouse uh, towards your husband or wife and think of all the good things that they have done for you think of all the sacrifices that they've done for you and if uh, Venus is your uh, Lagna Lord, then you have to be, uh, you, you have to learn to see all the good things that you have in life for every area because the Lagna can show a bit of everything in life. Okay. So for fourth Lord, I already said, if Venus is your fourth Lord, then write a gratitude journal about your mother. Okay. That will help you to understand how many sacrifices your mother, uh, father have done for you. So if Venus is your ninth Lord, then your father. Okay. Uh, but Venus will rule two houses, right, for every ascendant. So, therefore, there will be more than one person, okay.
So therefore, you have to check what Venus is doing in the chart. And if originally, if you have a Venus Rahu conjunction in your board chart, then this can be, this can aggravate the situation and it can make you feel uh, more depressed and in turn, it can give you more anxiety. So if you already have Rahu in Lagna, Rahu in 7th or Venus Rahu uh, conjunction, or Rahu is with the eighth lord or fifth lord, you know, then then uh, your situation can, could be even worse. But the good thing is, if you uh, try to count on your blessings, then uh, you will not be able to, uh, you will not go into depression. And if you chant mantras, you know, what kind of mantras you can chant, you can always chant Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. This mantra is a very powerful mantra. This was chanted by none other than the great, great, great Dhruva Maharaj who is the son of question mark <laughs> who can write in the comments please who is the father of Dhruva Maharaj uh, nonetheless <laughs> so Dhruva Maharaj was instructed by the great sage Narad Muni as the Srimad Bhagavatam says that my dear Dhruva Maharaj please chant this mantra and within six months you he saw Lord Narayan himself Lord Vishnu Lord Hari appeared and blessed him. And what did he bless him with? Can somebody still write it down in the comments? I would love to see it. So therefore, uh, if you uh, feel that, you know, uh, you are getting too depressed, you are thinking too much about uh, what you don't have in life, even if you have, you are still thinking of other options in life, then you really need to chant this mantra. So please chant this mantra. And this is a very powerful mantra for the fourth house. This will help you to... Uh, count on your blessings in life and if you even after doing this if you're still getting depressed oh my god life is so terrible i am not able to digest things in life then you can chant om namo narayana this this mantra will actually help you to cleanse all the poison in the heart this is the mantra for the eighth house very 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 important all your fears, negativity, uh, depression, all anxiety, everything will just vanish if you chant this mantra. So, uh, till 6th of April, if I am correct, yes, Drik Panchang says 6th of April, You, we must chant these two mantras. 108 times the first mantra, then 108 times the second mantra. If you have beads, I, I wish I could have shown you. So, if you have beads in a mala, you can chant, okay? That is the best way to chant mantra. So therefore, if you are feeling that you are getting overwhelmed and nothing seems to go right in your life, then just chant these two mantras and you will pass it. Trust me, you will. <laughs> and if even after that you are not feeling that you will be able to pass it, well then Sunday is around the corner. Please go and join some spiritual community. That will help you. Okay. And on the positive side, uh, you can see this conjunction as an empowering conjunction to learn something new, to do something new in life. Why do I say this? Because this is in the sign of Aries. Okay. So if you have certain plans, you know, anything related to Venus, you know, you want to look good, you want to become more fit, you know, then uh, you can hit the gym, start doing yoga, aerobic exercises or weightlifting or whatever. And uh, by that, you can come in shape and you might look good. Or if you want to start something creative, then this is an excellent time. You know, your creativity will be enhanced. It will increase and you will be able to uh, be creative in such a way that you could have never imagined. Okay. And also, of course, if you are planning to uh, take some trip with your spouse and spend some nice time uh, away from the hustle and bustle and all the side hustles and your job, then also this is an excellent time. Great time to go on vacation. Uh, great time to have good relationship with your uh, family also because Venus can to some extent represent your family also not just your spouse great time to have nice food and a great time to have good drinks but not alcoholic drinks <laughs> so therefore uh, this is a good period for uh, materialistic enjoyment so enjoy uh, but within the limits as I said uh, in my video yesterday so be within the limits, enjoy, uh, and there's nothing wrong uh, in uh, using this period, this period to be more creative and to enjoy and to learn new things about Venus. That's perfectly fine. You want to start a restaurant, go ahead. Uh, you want to start some home uh, delivery service or anything like that. Perfectly fine. Just do it. 
okay any good quality of venus that you want to enhance in your life just do it okay absolutely nothing wrong with it but uh, because rahu is a tamasic planet and the sign of aries uh, also has a lot of tamas in it so the most likely this energy will uh, take you towards more of tamas and rajas rather than you know uh, positivity so if you are having plans positively execute it nothing wrong with it but if you are feeling that it's too bad for me i am not able to handle it then then just chant these two mantras and you will be fine okay thank you very much for your patience if you like this video hit the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is already feeling overwhelmed and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and if you want a consultation my website is right down there in the description section thank you very much god is there with you all the time and you will see him in holy or on any other day also thank you very much